The next one is code of conduct policy. So once you join any organization, uh, how you behave, uh, how you treat others, uh, so there should be some professional ethics. So it's documented under this policy. It's taken care usually by HR team, confidentiality statement, and this is the objective. Our responsibility, so this document is taken care by HR team. Uh, CISO or security team can review and audit this policy. And this applies to all employees, management, and external parties. So standard of conduct. So operating an econom economically successful business to provide a consistent level of steady work to all employees. So they should not, not have any uh, discrimination on age, sex, color, race, creed, national origin, or religious beliefs, marital status, political belief, uh, compensating all employees according to their efforts and contribution. So these are some of the policy statements, business ethics. Uh, this is important, so bribery and improper advantage. So any of the, of the client or third party vendor, uh, they try to give you some kind of advantage. So you should inform that before taking. Example, if any of the client wants to give you a gift, so we have a gift policy for that. Uh, so, or it, it may be a bribery to disclose some kind of sensitive information of the company. So this should be prohibited. So there are frauds. Any employee committing, internal employee committing fraud to a company competitor. Data privacy. Human rights. And vendor code of conduct. So this all we have for all employees as well as vendors. So for vendors specifically, we have this. So maintaining maintain integrity and professionalism in all business dealings. Uh, respect intellectual property. Uh, they sign NDA before before getting into into the organization. External communication. An employee wants to use uh, the company brand or social media. Then they there have some being policies written here. So if you, for press, uh, press and media management, if you're ever contacted by the media, then you refer to the company marketing team. So every company have their own marketing team uh, or HR team. And do reframe yourself from speaking on behalf of the company to avoid any confusion. Or uh, if you share any inaccurate information. Uh, usage of social media. So you're allowed to do posts in social media about the company, but you follow these guidelines. You can give advice, but do not indulge in any confidential information, uh, any sharing of the events or incidents, or do not mention any names or, or including customer names, vendor names, partners. If you are speaking at an event, then you follow this policy, leave these statements. Uh, Report a concern if you find anyone violating this policy or if you have any queries, uh, get in touch with HR. And other statements are similar. So employee training and awareness, compliance and monitoring, escalation metrics. So this should be HR team, policy exceptions, reviews and updates, and conclusion. So that's on to code of conduct policy. If you have any feedback on this document, do comment us. Thank you.